In this question, we have to find the total area of the shaded region. Well, if we look at the diagram, we can see that it's made up of a rectangle and a triangle inside the rectangle. So let's outline the rectangle first. And let's just move it over to the side for a second. And we'll shrink it down a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. Next, we'll outline the triangle. And we'll move it over to the side and shrink it down a little bit as well. So if we bring it over and knock it down a little bit. Next, we'll shade in the rectangle. And then the triangle. And then if we insert the triangle inside the rectangle and then cut out the triangle again, we'll see that we're left with the shaded region, roughly. So our shaded region is equal to the rectangle minus the triangle. And there we go, I've just tightened up the uh, lines a little bit and added the rectangle back in. And we can see that the shaded region is equal to the rectangular region minus the triangular region. Okay, so we know that the area of a rectangle is its length times its width. And we know that the area of a triangle is a half its base times its height. And we're going to subtract those two. So if I look over at our diagram, we can see the length is 8 centimeters and our width is 6 centimeters. So the area of the rectangular part is 8 times 6. And for the triangle, the base of the triangle is 6 centimeters and its height is 8 centimeters. So the area of the triangle is a half its base, which is 6, times its height, which is 8. And again, we're going to subtract these two. Okay, so 8 times 6 is 48. And half 6 is 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, 48 minus 24 is 24. And since we are multiplying here centimeters times centimeters in both of these um, mini expressions here, the units are going to be centimeters squared, a unit of area. And if we look down our list of options, we can see that the third option is the right answer, 24 centimeters squared.